I have clarified what I intended to say and particularly affirm and acknowledge victims and survivors who may not have seen themselves in my comments and wanted to make sure I affirm their experiences. The, the National Party is calling for you, you to apologise to those who you I have made things clearer in my public statement about what I intended to say and particularly to the community, the experts in the field, to continue with this work of preventing and responding to Is violence. The way this Can you go through what, what, what okay. was going through your head, what was happening at sort of that time, obviously, just the protest and sort of what, what, what the situation was where you made those comments? In my public statement, I remind us that there is some misinformation about who is a risk to women and particularly the aim at trans people, which is simply not true. And that's what I have clarified in my public statement. Just the way that the, the, the Prime Minister described this, in terms of somebody from his office talked to somebody in your office to make this um, clarification, is that exactly what happened? I wanted to make this clarification. That was important to me, so that's what I did. But the way that he's described it, is that the truth? I won't get down to who said what first. What is really important that I wanted to clarify what I had intended but isn't to it say. Quite important, isn't it quite important? How, how are you feeling? After thank you very much for asking. I'm healing well, thank you. Yeah, the Prime Minister mentioned that um, uh, you're suffering a bit from that bruising after the adrenaline's uh, come off. Are you thinking that you might need to take a couple of days or are you um, soldier on? There's a lot of work to do and I'm in a good enough um, condition to keep going. How are you feeling about how this is all? Are you frustrated with having to answer these questions or do you get it because you're a minister? I acknowledge that I should have been clearer in my words. I normally take incredible care. I understand the importance of my language and my work and this is, this is how much focus I normally take in the language that I use, which is why I have clarified it in my public statement. The whole morning was, was charged. There was beauty and love and solidarity for trans people who are far too often discriminated, oppressed and marginalised and there were some horrific and have long-standing horrific um, aims at trans people being the biggest threat to women and that is simply not true. So when the far right media came to me I was still in that charged environment as well which is why I should have taken more care with the words that I use. Did you Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.